Hi students today we are going to discuss about the working of heart we all know that our heart is a strong muscle that pumps the blood to our body the blood carries oxygen and other important nutrients to the body organs to stay healthy moving on to the figure the figure shows the cross section of the interior of the heart our heart is divided into four chambers the top two chambers are called atria and lower chambers are called ventricles so you can see here the four chambers right atrium left atrium right ventricle and left ventricle also you can see here the arteries and veins the function of arteries is to carry blood away from the heart and the function of veins is to carry blood to the heart so here the atria act as receiving chambers for blood so they are connected to the veins that carry blood to the heart and the ventricles are connected to the arteries that carries the blood away from the heart now if you compare the size of atria and ventricles atria are smaller than ventricles and have thin less muscular walls when compared to that of ventricles and also the chambers on the right side of the heart are smaller when compared to that of left side of the heart this difference in size between the sides of the heart is related to their function and the size of the circulatory loops the right side of the heart maintain pulmonary circulation to the nearby lungs while the left side of the heart pumps the blood all the way to the extremities of the body in a systematic circulatory loop and there is a wall of muscle called the septum that separates the left and right atria and left and right ventricles if you compare all the four chambers the left ventricle is the largest and strongest chambers in our heart now we can study how does the blood flow through the heart in this figure you can see the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava these superior and inferior vena cava is nothing but the veins the function of the superior vena cava is to carry blood from the upper half of the body that is it brings the deoxygenated blood from the head neck arms and chest regions of the body to the right atrium and the inferior vena cava will return the blood to the heart from the lower parts of the body so first the right atrium receive blood from the superior and inferior vena cava and pumps it to the right ventricle the blood flow from right atrium to right ventricle through the open tricuspid valve and when the ventricles are full the tricuspid valve shuts or in other words its function is to restrict the flow of blood from right ventricle to right atrium the blood leaves the right ventricle through the pulmonary valve and pulmonary artery for oxygenation so in the lungs the blood get purified and oxygenated the oxygen enriched blood enter the left atrium through the pulmonary veins then the blood flow from left atrium to left ventricle through the open mitral valve so after reaching the left ventricle the blood leaves the left ventricle through the aortic valve into the aorta into the body this is how the heart functions continuously let me do a recap at first the blood enters to the right atrium through the superior and inferior vena cava this is impure blood or deoxygenated blood so from the right atrium blood will enter to the right ventricle through the open tricuspid valve after reaching the right ventricle the blood will flow through the pulmonary valve and pulmonary artery to the lungs where the blood get purified and this purified blood enter through the pulmonary veins to the left atrium and from the left atrium it will enter the left ventricle through the mitral valve 
and from there it will go through the aortic valve and through the aorta to the body this is how the heart functions continuously that's all for the day thank you and have a nice day